Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to export Outlook email information to Excel spreadsheet using Outlook VBA. Right here, I'm on the Microsoft uh, Outlook documentation page. Before we begin this tutorial, I want to show you where on the Microsoft uh, website you can locate the documentation where you can see all the fields that uh, you can extract from Outlook to Excel spreadsheet. I'll post the link in the video description. So right here, I'm on the, this uh, Microsoft Outlook uh, mail object uh, page. And on the left hand side, so we want to go to properties. And here are all the uh, fields that you can extract the information from the, the mail items object. So we can extract information like uh, actions, uh, attachment. So here's if you want to extract the attachment files from your email, then you will use the, the attachment property and the CC uh, property and body, body formats, and so on. And there are quite many. I will recommend you go to this list and to see you know, which one is relevant to you. So now let's go to uh, open our Outlook. Let's go ahead and open the FIBA window by using the shortcut Alt F11. Or we can click on Visual Basic. And let's go ahead and insert a new module. Let's call this uh, subroutine list email info. So to start, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to declare my Excel objects variables. So here we need, we need to create Excel uh, application variable. And the workbook. And here this will be. So I'm creating a temporary variable, like a helper variable. And this will be used as our road tracker. And this will be our header. So I'm going to create an array that's going to store the header information. And here I'm going to uh, create my Outlook variables. So here we need a namespace. Uh, inbox folder. Items. And last one, uh, mail item. All right, now these are all the uh, variables that we need. And here, uh, for, for this exercise, I'm only going to uh, extract uh, four different types of information. I'm going to extract the uh, email create date and the email subject, sender's name, and whether or not if the email is read or unread. So here I'm going to store my header uh, names under my array header variable. And subject, uh, sender's name. All right. Now let's go ahead and uh, create our Excel objects instance. So here we need to launch the Excel application. And once we launch the Excel application, we want to show the visibility to two. And once we create a new instance of Excel application, and we can go ahead and create a brand new Excel workbook. Now let's create our variables for our Outlook. So here we need to create the most important thing, which is the namespace. And from the uh, namespace, we need to uh, access the, the inbox folder. So here we have different options. So we can access the 
count the folder that store the content information, uh, the folder that store the, the email drafts information and so on. And I'm going to choose uh, for the inbox. So that's where uh, all your emails uh, are stored. And here I'm going to uh, basically uh, create an object that to access all the uh, items from the inbox from the uh, inbox for the uh, variable object. And let me just do this. So I'm going to empty out all the uh, objects at the end, just in case if I forget. And this will uh, free out the space. Okay, I said I don't I hopefully I don't miss anything. So let me do a quick compile. And here's a here's a typo. Very hitters. Oops. Oh hitters. Oh hitter. Okay, that looks good so far. Now let's assign the uh, the row value to the uh, i variable, and we'll be using the i variable as the row tracker. So here we're going to start from uh, row number two, and here I'm going to ignore all the error. So here I'm going to insert in the, the header or uh, the table header uh, names. So XL, so from the workbook, that was sheets, oops, um, sheets number one, which is the first worksheet. And we're going to insert from cell range A1. Oops. This one. Oh, here. Now here I'm going to iterate um, each item with from the OL items object. So remember in this object, this object contains all the mail items from the inbox folder. So here we can, uh, so here we can iterate each uh, item one by one. So for each um, Outlook mail item, in OL items. And here's where we're going to uh, export the information to the Excel spreadsheet. And this will be uh, inserting the creation time in column A. Subject. So I'm going to just copy paste this uh, two more time. And this will be a uh, sender name and read or unread. going to uh, increase the, the row tracker by one. Okay. 
And lastly, so I'm going to uh, auto fit all the columns. And when we finish, I'm going to display a message box, uh, export complete. All right, now that's it. So let me just do a quick compile. And here's a typo. Okay, now let me just save this in case if something goes wrong. Now let's go back to Outlook. And here I want to mention that uh, this VBA code will only extract email that is not stored on the server, that is only stored on your desktop. And what I mean by that is, so if you scroll down, some of the emails, if you uh, leave them in your uh, Outlook inbox for too long, and Microsoft Outlook will basically archive those emails uh, in their uh, Microsoft Exchange server. And for those emails that are stored on the Microsoft Exchange server, those email will not be retrieved uh, via this uh, VBA automation. Now let's go to developer tab and click on macros. And here's the, the macro just wrote. So let's email info. Now if I run this. And here uh, I hear a sound. So here we get a message export complete. I'll have the VBA code on my website and I'll post a link where you can uh, access the VBA code. All right guys, so this is everything I'm going to uh, share with you guys in this video. If you guys found my video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.